Several safety issues characterize the downstream and midstream sector of the Nigerian oil and gas industry. This includes inadequate safety regulations and enforcement mechanisms, which continue to fuel widespread non-compliance by some recalcitrant industry players. Another major safety concern is the lack of a strong safety culture, which usually leads to accidents that put the lives of workers and the public at risk. Standard training for downstream operations. Please Today in this room, leadership of the Nigerian Midstream and Downstream Petroleum Regulatory Authority in the Southwest region rubs mind with representatives from across the industry in a quest for a sustainable approach to safety maintenance in the industry. Part of recommendations brought to this round table include the need to increase investment in modern infrastructure, equipment and technology to promote a strong safety culture that prioritizes the well-being of industry players and the public. You know, we know we might not be able to eliminate uh, 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 risk and danger completely, but we want to minimize it to as low as reasonable practicable so that uh, we will be assured of uh, during the operation, people are safe, the assets are also safe. Your presence here today is a testament to your commitment to addressing the incessant incidents in the midstream and downstream operations of the oil and gas industry, and we are grateful for your support. It was also agreed that there is a need for increased awareness campaigns to educate the public and industry players on the importance of safety in the oil and gas industry. Safety-wise, we are not going to be able to operate, we will take you out. I'm mentioning that we will work with other stakeholders to ensure that such facility will not exist. But we will do that workshop and bring everybody on board and let them know that you can regularize your facility based on safety provisions. But if you are not able to operate, we are going to take you out. We have several programs running concurrently. We have what we call the um, Operation Scorpion, which is monthly and is targeted at trucks. So we use the period to enforce, you know, check on them. Now ongoing, we have uh, this uh, program that focuses on uh, these containers because of the menace they are causing. So we are on it. Then, like I said, at the depot, we have the safe to load program. 90% of what we do is safety. Without safety, our stations will not function. We're good enough, if you look at the statistics, of incidents in Lagos, especially, you know that uh, the record is not against Ipman. We have re usually have a uh, good performance in terms of uh, safety in our stations. Even in spite of that, we know we need to step up the training of our members, I mean, especially the staff, because they are the one operating in our various stations. The one-day stakeholders' engagement involved representatives of the Independent Petroleum Marketers Association of Nigeria, Federal Safety Commission, Depot and Petroleum Product Marketers Association of Nigeria, Nigerian Association of Road Transport Owners, Petroleum Tanker Drivers, and the Federal Fire Services. Oba Adeoye, Arise News, Lagos.